Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to add the Domain Admins group to Administrators in VMware's vCenter Single Sign-On. This allows the Domain Administrators to log in and manage the vCenter server. I'll also show you how to create folders for hosts and virtual machines. I've already installed all the components for vCenter Server, or VCS, on a Windows Server 2012 and I have a Domain Controller, also Server 2012. I'll be using a Windows 8.1 client to log into the VCS using the vSphere web client. I have my Windows client open and I'm going to log into the VCS using a browser through the vSphere web client. Type in the name of the server or IP address followed by the port number which is 9443. Remember HTTPS is required. Continue to the website and the web client login page is displayed. A single sign-on has not been configured as yet. I will log in using the administrator at vSphere.localCredentials. The password for this was configured during the installation of VCS. Once the password is complete, log in and the credentials are authenticated and the VCS initialized before the web client opens. I'll show you how to check the identity sources that have been added. My domain was automatically added during the installation of VCS. To check or add a source, open Administration and then Configuration. The identity sources are listed. As you can see, caroline.local is there. To add a source, click Active Directory Integrated Windows Authentication and the domain name is automatically populated. I've already done this. So I'll click cancel, otherwise I'll get an error message. If you highlight the domain, you get the options to edit or delete. You can also set a default domain, which as you can see, I have done for caroline.local domain. To add the domain admins group to VCS single sign-on, click on the users and groups, and under the groups tab, click administrators. As you can see, the vSphere local administrator is a default group member. To add the domain admins as a member of the administrators group, click on the add group members icon. Once opened, we're going to change the domain to the local domain and then I'm going to search by showing groups first and then sorting and finding the domain admins we're going to add that. We can check the name to make sure it's correct. We'll go OK out of both of those. If you wait a few seconds, the domain admins group pops up and as you can see it is now added. I'm just going to show you how to add a user and give them admin role permissions. To do this, return to the web client homepage and click the center. Then Hosts and Clusters and click on the Data Center, my case Caroline. Under Manage and Permissions, click the Add icon which is the green plus. We're going to add a user, click Add. We're going to select the Caroline domain. And I'm going to add Caroline Admin as a user. We'll check the name again an OK out of those. As you can see, the role is no access. Simply change this to administrator under the assigned roles. And you can also select whether to propagate these rights to children to allow admin permissions on all objects created under the data center. Just going to OK out of that. As you can see, after waiting a few seconds, Caroline Admin is now an administrator. I'm just going to log out of the administrator at vSphere.local web client and log back in as Caroline Admin. To do this, I'm just going to type Caroline and backslash with the username Caroline Admin and the password and then log in. As you can see, I'm now logged in as Caroline Admin. And to finish off, I'll demonstrate how to create host and cluster folders and VM and template folders in VCS. 
In the Hosts and Clusters inventory, right-click on the Data Center, select All vCenter Actions, and then New Hosts and Clusters folder. Enter a name for the folder, I'm just using Demo, and click OK. It'll take a moment to appear, and then the host can simply be dragged and dropped into the folder as required. I'll just expand Demo and ESXi2 has been moved. To create a new folder in VNs and Templates, it's the same procedure. Click on the Data Center and All vCenter Actions and select New VMs and Templates folder. Again, type in a name for the folder and click OK. Now if it doesn't appear, you can refresh the screen and it will then appear. VMs can also be moved by dragging and dropping. If I expand that, I, you can see that it has been moved. I'm just going to put it back where it came from and show you how to delete a folder. Right click, all vCenter actions again and remove from inventory. Obviously yes. and the folder has been deleted. Simple. And thanks for watching this tutorial on adding the domain admin group to vCenter single sign-on, giving a user admin permissions, and creating folders. I hope you enjoyed it.